Of course we want Mr. Haggerty protected. And who better to do that than, than Rory? I'm sorry, Officer Cabrera. <laughs> Look, I'm really sorry that I'm a little bit... I, I just, I really haven't been sleeping that well. Um, the, I, the jury's been deliberating all that. Yeah, and, and it's the uncertainty of everything. It's just so unnerving. Of course. And absolutely, our first priority is to ensure that Mr. Haggerty can testify on the record. So I want to thank you, Jordan. I really do. A and you too, Rory. Happy to help Dr. Robinson. Officer Cabrera, I need to have a word with Dr. Robinson and Mr. Ashford. I'll be right back. Oh. Um, Commissioner, did we do something wrong? Not that I'm aware of. I wanted to speak to you privately because I tried to call Esme in for questioning. Unfortunately, it seems she's nowhere to be found. Esme skipped town. It's hard to say, but I thought you two should know. Even if Mr. Haggerty wakes up and points fingers at Esme as the perp, it may prove challenging to bring her to justice. OK. Let's just focus on one problem at a time, OK? If Oz Haggerty officially names another person of interest, I mean, that still looks good for Trina. Yes. Assuming he wakes up. In the meantime, do something with yourself. Go somewhere else. At least leave the building and get some fresh air and some sunshine. Oz Haggerty is in good hands. Officer Cabrera will make sure that nobody gets past him.